Okay guys, so now I'm doing my foot foul weather workout here. It's super, super windy outside today. So there ain't no riding out there in the wind, especially on a carbon bike. It's like light as a feather, it'll just blow you across the street and the next thing you're gonna see is uh, people are gonna see your shoes flying up in the air after landing in the bushes. So, I use these rollers, they give you a really good workout. You have to have something to hang on to to get started. I ain't gonna lie, but it ain't easy. This will give you a workout. And it's hard to stay up. If you stop moving, you're going down. But the trick is you gotta relax. And I ain't relaxing. Okay, I gotta relax. Let go. Let go any time now. Let go. Let go. Let go. Okay. Okay, I'm not getting paid to advertise this or anything like that. Uh, but you do get a good workout. I suggest when you're learning, you learn kind of like I, I haven't ridden, ridden this since last summer, last winter. Because I only ride it during the winter time. So, I need something to hang on to just till I get my, uh, be used to riding it again. So I don't end up with nothing to hang on to and then hitting the floor. So, I've been working on this for a little while, so I got about five miles in. I got 15 left to go. Woo-wee! This here will make you sweat. Give you a good one. Yeah. When you get used to it, or when you get done with 20 miles, you're going to have a puddle of water right underneath you on the floor. That's why I got cardboard down there. So I was videotaping there while I was riding. So, whoo -wee. Anyways, I'm going to stop it for right now until I'm done, and then I'll show you the how this, uh, these rollers okay this is how these rollers work okay you got the back tire sitting in two rollers the front tire sitting on one roller and from the axle down it's almost centered above it just a little bit to the back so the tire is just a little hair to the right there now what drives the front tire is there's a, a rubber band right here okay and that drives the front and the back now from as far as the bike goes you do need to air up the tires and have I, I run them at 120 pounds but I make sure that they're full at 120 pounds because if you don't there's only a little area that they actually ride against the tire on and it will ruin the tires. So you want to make sure you have plenty of air in them. And uh, that's it on how this thing works on the rollers. But it is kind of like being on rollers at a market, you know? Or not on a market, in a warehouse where they're putting packages, putting packages down a, a conveyor belt. But it has rollers on it and the things just roll right along. Well, kind of the same thing with a bike on.
Okay, if you like this video, please press, press the like and subscribe button below.